Getting your ideas down to just a few can be difficult. You're now at the point where you need to look at all the ideas you generated and select a few that you will use in the next phase of the process. Start by looking at your situation rather than just ticking or crossing off ideas. What are the constraints and realities of your situation? What are the things that might limit some ideas? For example, flying over a volcano in a helicopter would not be achievable since it would be very dangerous and costly. But remember, these ideas should have generated other, similar, and hopefully more realistic ideas. Try to select your top three or four ideas based on what you think will be the most promising in terms of being able to actually deliver the idea to students. It's okay if you've only got a couple of ideas, but make sure you don't have too many ideas still on your list, as this can complicate the process. Likewise, don't limit your most possible ideas to just one, as this leaves you with nothing should something need to be changed. You may need to go back to the generating ideas step if you find yourself in this situation. Record the ideas in your CDP workbook.